I just watched the second episode of Disney Plus's new Marvel series, Moon Knight. Um, this is going to be another spoiler-filled episode, with some particular spoilers of uh, Warren Ellis' comic run that he did for the 2016 Moon Knight comics. So you've been warned. So coming off the very high high that last week's episode brought us with um, Oscar Isaac's Mark Spector making his glorious debut in the MCU over the weekend, I could not stop thinking about this next episode and the previous episode that we got last week. And I was really excited, as I said, and um, this episode, I'm going to say it now, did not disappoint. This episode was awesome. So the second episode, let's get into it. It's directed by the man Justin Benson once again, and the cinematography somehow topped last week's episode. And the CGI was also really good, but um, I was seeing a lot of people um, over last weekend on TikTok and Instagram. They were complaining about the pilot episode CGI. You've got to remember, guys, this is a small Disney Plus. It's only six episodes long. The budget's not going to be like Russo Brothers, Infinity War, that sort of top tier style budget. It's just expects, obviously, a Disney Plus series is what I'm going to say. But that didn't really annoy me. So the performances in this episode were incredible. Conchu was terrifying in this episode. He had many, many scenes where he stole the show and... His relationship with um, the identities really blew me away because he's very different in this. He's um, he's a bit of an arse to Stephen, I'm not going to lie. And um, he treats Mark with a bit of respect, but he seems a little bit evil in this. I can't lie to you guys. Um, it feels like he's got something up his sleeve. And um, he sort of treats Mark as like Mark's body belongs to Conchu and, uh, sorry, himself. And it's so weird because obviously, hopefully, as the show goes on and it reveals that Conchu actually saves Mark and resurrects him in exchange for um, Mark to become the Fist of Vengeance, which obviously is Moon Knight. And it kind of feels like he sold himself to the devil in a way because there's another scene where um, Arthur Harrow, uh, Ethan Hawke's character, he says that um, Conchu was banished and that none of the gods were actually talk to him and actually that um ethan hawk's character actually was a fist of vengeance um obviously he's probably probably wasn't a moon knight but hopefully they go down that i really when he said that i was really intrigued because obviously he decided to not worship any him anymore and it got me wondering why because he's he's definitely done something uh, another scene that kind of backs this up is a scene where steven is talking to arthur harrow and um Moon Knight is, um, sorry, not Moon Knight, uh, Conju is stuck, st he's stood behind him and he tells him to break his windpipe and obviously if you think about it, um, that would stop someone talking and in this scene he's actually talking about Conju and all the bad stuff he's done. So if you wanted him to stop talking about him, he's definitely done something and um, another scene that actually sort of um, adds to this scene is actually a scene um, when he's talking to Stephen at this table and speaking of Ethan Hawke's character oh my god he had some incredible lines in this episode and there was one line actually that had it had quite a bit of an impact I'm not gonna lie to you guys he says um, well basically he's talking to Stephen about why he chose Mark as the fist of vengeance and he has this great line and he says um, why do you think Mark was chosen? Do you think he was easy to break? Or was he already broken? And that sends Stephen insane. And because obviously you're wondering, you're sharing with a body with this other person. You're thinking, who is the real person? Who came first? Obviously the chicken or the egg? Obviously, obviously we know who came first. If you guys have read the comics, as I mentioned, um, Mark is the um, the the solid um, the default identity you could say, and um, this scene is actually amazing because uh, Conchu is actually telling him to not listen to him, and obviously that adds to my point of we think Conchu's done something. And as for Ethan Hawke's character, my money is still that he's still on that he's Dracula or maybe the Sun God. We didn't get to see much of him, but um, he was in quite a bit the last twenty minutes. And the last 20 minutes was fantastic. It was amazing. It really sort of, it, it gravitates the flow and the sort of pacing of this episode 
quite a bit because there's a really good fight scene where um, Moon Knight suits up and he fights this jackal that um, Arthur Harrow summons and he kills it on this sort of spire thing that's attached to a pyramid and as Moon Knight looks up he sees the moon and obviously the dead body and he sort of retracts his blade and he catches it like Thor um, catches Mjolnir and um, the iconography is one to remember it is so good and the suit actually just forms around him and like dissipates away it looks so cool the CGI is actually really good in this scene um, so people better not be complaining about this episode this episode was incredible and um, one thing to add about this um, this scene is that the alternate identity Stephen and Mark they actually get along really well strangely um, there's actually a really cool scene at the start of this fight where Stephen is actually in control from the table scene that I was just talking about with Arthur and he falls out of this window and he gets told to summon the suit which is actually the title of this week's episode so it's very fitting but he doesn't summon any suit my friends no he summons the Mr Knight suit from the Warren Ellis 2016 comic run and I'm gonna spoil it a little bit here so halfway through sort of that comic run he um he actually gets another alternate identity called Mr. Knight and he's in this suave suit. You've probably seen the poster of it that Marvel revealed on their Instagram. As we said last week, the promotion for this series is insane. The posters are on point. And um, basically he's sort of like a CSI detective that kind of helps the police, but he's also really brutal. So this sort of identity, it really reminds me of Dexter. If you guys have watched Dexter and um. It was really cool, the CGI was really good, and there's a lot of comedy in this scene, which actually, it shows what the MCU should be. Obviously, the comedy in No Way Home was awful. The comedy in here is actually really funny, because as he's defeating this jackal, he says, like, some really English slang, like, Whoa, go on, and like, you're in man's end, bro. And if you're not English, you probably won't understand that, but I found that really funny. And, um... So he kind of respects Mark because he sort of defeats him but sees the jackal going for these um, these sort of children. And he says, right, you've done a good job, but let me suit up and do it. And then obviously that comes full circle with the fight scene that I talked about just then. And basically, guys, there's a, I have a bit of a problem actually because Moon Knight debuted in 1975. And, well, he got the Mr. Knight suit in 2016. They're showing Mr. Knight in the second episode. They've skipped out so much material, and that's probably my only negative about this episode, guys. A lot of people aren't happy with it, but I thought this episode was incredible. I really liked how this was a continuation of last week's episode, and how they're sort of... They're doing the, the dialogue between the different altars with the mirrors and reflections. As we talked about earlier, it's a blink and you'll miss it moment, and the, the, you, need, you need to look up them, because they are really cool. But as you guys can tell, I love this episode of Moon Knight. I'm really enjoying this series and I can't wait for next week's episode. I'll probably give this episode probably a 9.5 out of 10. It's definitely a step up from last week's episode. But what are you guys thinking of the Moon Knight series so far? Let us know down below and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>